a life well lived stretching across the years has come to a close. So this afternoon, under these wide spacious skies, we lay to rest the remains of Otto Ritter, husband, father, grandfather, great-grandfather, brother, and friend. May the memory of his life ever be an inspiration until the day comes when we must take our place among the silent chambers of the dead. In Job chapter 19, verse 25 to 27, we read, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that in the end he will stand upon the earth. Yet after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. I myself will see him with my own eyes. I, and not another, how my heart yearns within me. In Isaiah chapter 54, verse 10, we read, Though the mountains be shaken, and the hills be moved, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. John chapter 14, verses 1 to 3, Jesus says, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you. For I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. Eternal God, from whom we come and to whom we return, we pause in the quiet of these surroundings to, to leave all that was mortal of our friend, brother, father, husband, grandfather, and great-grandfather, Otto Ritter. According to your eternal plan, the body returns to the earth as it was, and the spirit to God who gave it. Of the material, we say, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. We commit his spirit to you, his creator, redeemer, and friend. And we entrust into your loving care and guidance his beloved family. Let's pray. Almighty God, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the shepherd of the sheep, grant as we stand at this graveside that we may hear the voice of the one who said at the tomb so many years ago, he's not here, he is risen, just as he said. When the sense of sorrow and loneliness weighs heavily upon us, and when the shadows deepen, and when our faith falters and hope grows dim, we ask that you would sustain us during this time and keep ever vivid the memories of our dear one, Otto Ritter. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Never forget that after the night comes a new day. After the winter, another spring. After the storm comes the sun-drenched earth. After defeat comes the resurrection. After death, life. Amen. <laughs>